Hey, thanks so much for checking out Draw Too Much. My name is Tim Lee. I got my sketchbook open here. And today I want to talk to you about this pen. It's the Kakuno Pilot. Okay, Kakuno. I asked the guys over at Goulet Pens, what do you think would be the thinnest pen that I can get my hands on for excellent cross hatching? And they had a great conversation with me. They were saying, all right, well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to try and find a J Japanese pen. That's going to give you the thinnest line that you can possibly get. So I'm like, okay, well, what pen is going to meet that need? And uh, I picked up the Pilot Kakuno. Now, when I looked at it, first things first, I'm going, hey, this looks an awful lot like a Pilot Metropolitan. Um, but the difference being the nib on there, even though they look exactly the same, the Metropolitan I have has a medium nib. This has an extra fine nib. And as I started drawing with it, I was in love. Now, now here's the thing. I'm ADD, ADHD. I'm obsessive compulsive. And so as I'm looking at how thin the line is on this pen, I'm going, oh my gosh, it's so thin. It's going to take me forever to complete any artwork, period, just with how thin this is. Uh, and then immediately, as soon as I felt that, I'm going, okay, actually, this is perfect. So I grabbed my favorite sketchbook uh, that I carry with me in my bag, and I immediately started just sketching out with a pencil just something at random uh that would be uh an angry chicken for instance <laughs> and i'm like okay i like this angry chicken that i'm finding on pinterest let's go ahead and try and sketch it out uh first with pencil and then use my kneaded eraser quickly knock it down a little bit by rolling the kneaded eraser across the pencil and then let's get started with my kakuno and some carbon ink and see what i can get the only thing I did not care for very much, and maybe they have a different uh, insert, uh, but the um, converter that they use, uh, and I think this is called the C40 or something of that nature, is so tiny. It is so tiny. Uh, it is not taking up nearly the space inside the pen itself. Uh, so personally, as I look at it, I would go, okay, I think that there is plenty of room for a much larger converter, uh, and I would personally like to find something uh, larger to fill up this pen. That way I can guarantee that if I take it somewhere on the road with me, I don't have to bring my carbon ink with me. I don't have to bring any ink refills with me. I can use this pen for a very long period of time. As you can see, I've already had to refill it once in this sketch so far, and we're only about two minutes in, give or take. Um, now, I did find that it lasts quite some time, but of course, I'm very hyper aware of the of this kind of stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I can find something that maybe has a bigger uh, container in it. Uh, I personally love my uh, Moonman Mini, which is the Q1, the first pen that I got because of Peter Draws. The uh, thing I love about that pen is that it's just got a full unit. You can put whatever you want in there, cap it off, and call it a day. Uh, you can't do that with this pen, and uh, but I like that personally. I like to just be able to use a uh, an eyedropper, fill that pen up to the hilt with as much ink as you can, uh, and it's going to take a while to run out of that uh, ink in that pen. I love that, um, and I still keep it topped up just because I'm OCD like that. So trying to find a pen that can do that same thing with the Kakuno uh, and to find a converter that can do that instead of just getting a refill. I'm not a fan of the refills. I want to be able to use a converter. Uh, that just makes sense to me. So the drawing, like I said, was off of Pinterest. I'm just having some fun and I just really wanted to push myself. So what I'm going to do here, since I'm kind of running out of things to talk about here, I'm going to go ahead and get some music going on here for you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. 